Hi guys, my name is Nicole and today we're going to be looking at some stretches that you can do after your cycling to keep you loose and injury free. So all you're going to need for the stretches is a band or a towel will work just fine for the stretches that we're going to be using it for and a mat or just somewhere soft where you can lie down for the stretches. So it is advised that you stretch for five to ten minutes after every cycle just to help to really loosen out the muscles. If you're not able to stretch after each cycle, then try and schedule in a block twice a week where you can stretch for five to 10 minutes, just stretching in all the muscles that you feel are tight and just working on your range of motion. So we're gonna look at some stretches that are gonna help and loosen out the main areas that cyclists find tend to tighten up when you are cycling. The first stretch that we're gonna look at is for our hips and our upper back. So we're gonna head down to our mat. We're gonna open up our hips as wide as we can by bringing out our knees. We want our heels and our glutes to stay in contact with each other for this exercise. And we're gonna walk the hands forward so that the chest and the forehead are leaning down towards the ground and our heel and our glutes are still in contact with each other and we're really trying to reach out with those arms, bringing them as far forward as we can. And then just try and relax into the stretch by taking some deep breaths and releasing them slowly out. And just feeling the upper back and the hip start to relax and hopefully start to stretch out. So this is, quite a gentle stretch and it's a really good one to start off or to end your stretching routine with. The next exercise that we're going to look at, we're going to need our band or towel will work just fine for this one. And we're going to be working on loosening out the calves and the hamstrings. So the muscles on the backs of our legs here, they tend to get quite tight when we're cycling. And if the hamstrings do start to tighten up, they can actually pull and cause some lower back pain. So we're going to wrap our band or a towel around the ball of our foot. We're gonna bring our other foot so that it's flat down on the ground. We're gonna relax our head down and we're gonna bring this foot up as straight as we can. Once it is as straight as you can bring it up, we're gonna bring the toes down towards us. So we're pointing our toes down towards the ground as much as we can and pushing our heel up towards the ceiling. And I'm just applying a gentle amount of pressure through the band, so I'm not really pulling the foot. And you should feel a stretch all up the backs of the legs, so through the calf and through the hamstring. And we can relax that down. And we're gonna do the same with the other foot. So straightening out to start with, and then pulling the toes down towards the ground and pushing the heel up towards the ceiling. And you can relax. So ideally when you are doing these stretches as part of your stretching routine, you hold them for 30 seconds to a minute and that's how long it takes to actually really help uh, increase your flexibility and the range of motion in the muscle. So really 30 seconds to a minute is what you wanna be holding them for. And we wanna build up to doing two to three rounds back to back of holding each stretch that we're doing for 30 seconds to a minute. So we could be spending up to three minutes holding just one stretch. The next stretch that we're gonna look at is for the lower back. So for this one, we're going to start with our stomachs down on the mat. We're going to bring our hands so that they're beside our upper chest and they're in nice and close to the body. We're going to relax the feet down towards the ground and you're going to gently push up, trying to keep your hips in contact with the mat and look directly over your head. And you should feel that stretching out the back muscles. If you can straighten out your arms fully, you can do that also, and really try and drive the hips into the mat. So remember to breathe on this one. And relaxing it all the way back down, and gently getting up from the stretch. 
So the next stretch that we're going to look at is for the front of the legs and we're going to be working our quadricep muscles. These obviously get a lot of work on the back so they can get quite tight. So it is important that we are stretching them out. If the quads are tight, you may experience some knee pain on the bike, which can obviously limit your enjoyment and the time you can spend on the bike. So we're just gonna hold on to something for this one just to keep our balance. We're gonna start with our feet together and we're gonna gently lift one leg up, bring our heel into our glute and bring our knee together. And then really important, we're gonna push the hip forward, keeping the head nice and neutral, and you should feel that stretching out the front of the leg muscle. So loosening it out, just gonna show you on the other leg as well. So reaching back, knee in together and pushing the hip forward. Other knee should be straight that's on the ground. And relaxing back down. The last stretch that we're going to look at in our circuit is for the chest, okay? As we are spending a lot of time bent over on the bike, these muscles can start to get a little bit tight, which can obviously get uncomfortable and which can lead to some injuries. We do want to make sure that we are loosening out the chest muscles as well. For this one, you're going to need a corner with two sides that you're going to be able to put your hands on either wall. So we're going to lunge into the corner by bringing one foot in in front and we want our toes pointing directly in towards the wall. I'm going to put my hands around head level and I'm going to lean in almost like I'm trying to bring my face into the wall and hold it there and bring it back out. So I'm going to switch over my legs and same thing again, leaning in with the head, it's a really simple stretch, but it's really effective for stretching out the chest muscle. You can walk your hands up and down the wall and you'll get a different stretch on the chest and on the front of the shoulders, depending on where your arms are on the wall. So you may find it's your more your upper chest or your lower chest that's tight. So by walking the hands up and down the wall gently, you will be able to stretch out those muscles. So those are our stretches. Just to recap, you wanna be doing each stretch for 30 seconds to a minute and doing each stretch two or three times in a row. We wanna stretch after every cycle or at least twice a week for five to 10 minutes to ensure that we are working on loosening out all those muscles that are getting tight when we're cycling. If you haven't been cycling for a couple of days, you may find that you're especially tight. So even though you've been off the bike, it is still important to stretch regularly as those muscles will continue to tighten up. So I hope you'll be able to give these stretches a go and that they'll become a useful part of your cycling routine. Thank you guys and stay cycling.